Yo, what's up guys? This is Ray Mural here showing you that I'm gonna beat this guy Southeast UK on the bootleg solo. And uh it was twenty he's he got to wave twenty nine, there we go. And this is my game going all the way to wave thirty six. Now, during the intermissions of the waves, the 30 seconds, will be in times two speed, so I'm not speed hacking or anything, I just sped up the video because it was kind of pointless just me getting supplies. So that's there. Now, at this moment, I do not know how many parts of this will be. I know it took me an hour and ten minutes to do all of this. So hopefully six, ma maximum seven parts is all I will be using for this. But you have to take into account that yeah, some of it is will be times too much. But anyways, a little bit late. But for uh, wave one to about like four, all you really want to do is just sit here and knife them and get, pick up their weapons and shoot them with a pistol. And note, this is a hard map, it's not normal, easy, and sane, so enemies start off harder, so instead of having models, they start off with the MP5, which I like a lot, so I like harder maps better. Um, what else? Oh, and the juggernauts and helicopters come earlier, like on an easy map, for example, which probably most people play. A helicopter would come on wave 5, juggernaut, wave 10. This, it has a helicopter and a juggernaut on wave 5. And it gets diff more difficult as it goes on a lot earlier than it would on an easy or normal map. And it would be a lot earlier on Insane or Veteran. I think it's Insane though. Um, and you really want to try and focus on getting those two challenges in the bottom left because they are a huge source of income. It is what I do, no matter what, I'll get a light machine gun. And from what I've seen, the second last machine gun, I don't have the last one yet, is amazing because you don't need sleight of hand. It already has fast enough for it. But I'm using, I think, the middle one or third last that I buy, and they're all $7,000. Well, I haven't unlocked the last one, so I'm unaware about that one right now. So yeah, that's basically how I start off. And after a light machine gun, I'll either go get a striker, or I'll buy upgrades for my light machine gun. But that would be on an easy map. On a hard map, you want to get the striker. Because of the juggernaut on way 5. You want to just throw a flash at him, and spray your whole clip into him, and then you'll reload two bullets and shoot him, and he should be dead. He is, you, you should be able to almost shoot your entire clip at a juggernaut if you flash him and you're really close. Right here I was trying to get the headshots, but I couldn't get it as he moved at the last second. And yeah, so as you can see, I am sped up. And I'm, I was mad because I'm still short for my light machine gun. I did not have a light machine gun um, on Wave 5. I mean, Shotgun on wave 5, and I do get a lot of stupid downs and lose my self revive, quick revive, get up, black, an amazing perk that's $4,000. You can only have two perks, and that automatically only counts as one. Then again, I've never actually tried to only have two, and it got worth that one, so I don't know. I don't believe that you can have like second and extreme condition. And another thing, the perks, yeah, I have not unlocked the sleight of hand yet because I'm not level 50, but the way I play, I, I don't camp, I run around, that's how I play, because this is one of the best maps for running around, like, um... Because there's roofs and there's a lot of hallways that you can just run by, and it's very easy to uh, hide under a roof, and then the helicopters won't be able to get you. The juggernauts will follow you. 
I think I down here, yeah. Keep me from not looking at me. Looks like AIs have lag issues. At least that's what I assume. And yeah, I, I really needed that light machine gun because helicopters are kind of a bitch to get. Um, a lot of two, one thing that doesn't change from easy, normal, hard, or veteran is what time of wave to get those kill streaks and grenades and weapons. They all come at one, two, and three. That never changes. Um, and also, it's not just that you get more enemies and they get stronger. Eventually, I think it's around 30 that the enemies stop changing and you just have the same enemies coming over and over again, which are like mini juggernauts, uh, what I call Nova Gas people, suicide bombers, that's really all I get. Instead of changing them, they just get more health. Like I'm pretty sure, like, the first juggernaut I kill the striker, he takes my one clip. Then you go to like part 7 of, or part 6 of this, of these videos, and you take that juggernaut, it'll take me like two full clips. Because for some reason he's a lot stronger. But I was in a way camping quite a lot. The building I was just in, as you just saw, is where you should be camping when you start a wave. Now I will get further into that camping spot as I'm not using it right now. On how to use it properly when uh, you're in higher waves, like on wave 25 plus or something, 20 plus, 36. And I'll also mention why I think that guy couldn't get past 29 and why I got to 36 because I knew how to defeat the juggernauts and helicopters coming at the same time really got annoying. I'm pretty sure it was three juggernauts and three helicopters or some bullshit. I know, I don't think that happened. I, I, I got this like two a uh, week ago, but I never had time to actually render and make this, which is why it's coming out whenever this renders and uploads. <laughs> Today is the Thursday. <laughs> Probably will be out on Friday for most people. He's just gonna take a while to render and then upload. Plus, my brothers won't let me upload because it takes too damn long. And as you can see, I just got got my striker, and I'm also just bought attachments. And you can have two attachments. There is no reason to get the red dot on the shotgun as all, all I do is hit fire. But it is recommended to get red dot on the <clears throat> light machine gun as I hate the iron sights and I find them distracting. Um, oh, I don't think I ever finished the perks. When you're using the perks, you it's really preference on how you play. Um, there's one perk I don't ever use, but I know there's stalker, steady aim, sleight of hand, and extreme condition. If there's a fifth one, don't use it. I'm pretty sure it's useless. And that's another good use for the shotgun with the stupid dogs. Um, you want to use steady aim if you don't have extreme conditioning because um, you want to be able to just use your shotgun effectively and shoot them from further distances or your light machine gun. Uh, but if you can get extreme conditioning, then I highly recommend it for this map. Or if you really want sleight of hand, use it from wave 1 to 20. But after 20, that's great. You're, you're, you're just fucked. But you pretty well want that uh, extreme conditioning to do a rape train so you can get away fast enough. And also, just like, get away from the enemies. That's what I was doing, and you'll see in later episodes of this. <clears throat> yep. So this is the last wave, and then I move on to episode two. I d so yeah, that is kind of my setup right now. Uh, right here, I block him.
because he spammed me like 50 invites. I did skip it, so if you're wondering how I was so fucking fast. <laughs> Anyways, that is episode one to my possibly part five, six, or seven to getting to wave 36 and second being wave 29 on the map Bootleg Solo Survival. Difficulty hard, seeing if you can't change the difficulty. I just gave you some tips and a brief introduction to how I played this get as far as I did even though I'm kind of an average player and I do not consider myself to be that good and if you don't know already this is the second map that I am ranked one on except I think I'm like ranked four or something on the other map these people pass me but I believe I'm gonna have this rank for a much longer time and I just got my extreme conditioning to start fucking shit up so yeah I'll see you guys next time